Yeah, prob- I don't think that was the worst level in the game, but I was really in the running to do so. If memory serves me, however, after this, we are done with the shit levels. I wanna- so no. Never mind, there's still more. Come up with something and escape from there. Damp and dust and little bugs, just like Patrick's belly button. Oof. You having fun yet, guys? <laughs> I don't remember if dying here will actually respawn you in this area or if it does push you back all the way to the beginning. I'm going to pray it doesn't start you all the way back at the beginning. Granted, for my purposes right now, this is still fine, but Tachikoma is not doing good. That said though, this level, this part of the level actually isn't that bad. I remember this is actually kind of short. It's at this point that you are probably instilled with a distinct sense of paranoia that, from this game design. And frankly, I would not blame you. Now let's see, this is actually Let's check the map. That does not help. <laughs> GPS data unavailable. Hmm. I see. Issue. Boss battle? Has it been that long since I played this game? Oh my god. No, wait. No, this isn't the boss battle. I think this is just an encounter. I hope. him so badly it can try to take him. Nope. Where's it going? <laughs> oh no. Oh Jesus. That good, huh? How far back? Okay. It doesn't even refill my health. Are you? Are you? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. So the level immediately starts and already got the, these kinds of problems, huh? Can I order the Tachikoma to pick up healing items? Maybe. No, I can't. Um. Can I just do whatever? Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I have an idea. Oh, wait. What are you doing? What does happen if you set the free lunch anyway? Do you want to go get the health, maybe? <laughs> well, this is a pickle. He really is that tied up for health, huh? Oh, man. Let's see if we can do anything about this. Guy comes out from here, I know that. If I can get a boost of health, that would be amazing. You know what, hang on. What if I can push him? Can I? No. He really just can't pick it up, huh? Oh boy. Hey, does anyone want to queue up an invincibility cheat code, maybe? <laughs> for for Taj Koma, uh, at least? Because, I'll be honest, he is literally so low on health, I'm not sure if I have any alternatives. Outside of deliberately restarting this half hour long level. And I'm not about that life right now, no thank you. Seriously, just immediate boss battle. Oh, man. How fast. Yup, one shot. Let's see, is there any way out of this? I owned you, could probably work. Oh, 
screen sniped. Kind of feels like it. Oh, man. I'm, I'm serious, though. Does anyone want to go find, like, uh, action replay code to apply invincibility to Tachikoma, or at least my, or even myself? Just lands in the the fight's already over. Actually, wait, hold up. Oh no, you're out. Maybe I could. No, there's no way I can do damage to that Hotchkoma in time. It'd be funny if I could. I don't think so. This is I this this is funny and also very sad. Like I order him to do anything. Maybe maybe I can di I can divert them. What oh, fuck? I hate the fast turnaround. It really fucks me up sometimes. Is there a save state history? No. If I could do enough damage, if I could focus their fire on me solely, that would be cool. But there's not even like a health cheat or anything. I'll go look right after this attempt. Oh, geez, a cooldown. Actually, wait. I might have a chance. Maybe I have a chance at this. M maybe. Is there a cheat code to one-shot enemies? If I just go ham myself, maybe I can get this. Maybe I can pull this off. Perhaps. If I could just leave Hachikoma and just do it myself, that would be fine. <laughs> no, this is one hell of a checkmate. Okay, I need to take five in order to go look up cheat codes. Let's go take a look together. You, you sure, Alex? This looks fine to me. Hold up. Well, I suppose as long as we're doing this, I could show you how to uh, edit cheat codes really fast. Boom. Go way back up to the top. Okay, I was hoping to dodge this maybe, but I am really torn caught between a rock and a hard place right now. So, let's see what this does. Let's see if this works. I doubt it, but hey, look dope. Yep. I was hoping to have to dodge using cheat codes like this, but I mean, my options are Fundamentally very limited, so ugh. <laughs> You know what fuck I can just melee these things, okay, and for the sake of transparency once again The cheat codes immediately going off. I Literally only do that to get myself out of that catch 22 because Fuck this game and it's uh cheap it's game design sometimes. Okay, bye. It's gonna be fun editing that one together, yeah? I, I didn't know you meant emulator cheats? Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. There's a strong chance that the little girl who was with the black touch coma was flesh and blood and not a prosthetic body. Don't jump to any conclusions. We'll run a component analysis. So bring
Bring that blood back here. Roger. Oh, we're not done yet. Of course we're fucking not. This game just doesn't stop. Yes, I am upset because this this game does not know when to apply the fucking brakes sometimes. Ugh. So, as a recap of what we've done in this one level, we have... Oh, no. We have gone through an entire level. We have dodging many turrets. We've kidnapped a general, escaped that side level, just did a boss fight, and now my touch comment is still on one goddamn HP. I can't deal with this shit, man. Doesn't even heal you when you die either. That said, though, hopefully we are almost done with the level because. How, I don't believe there's much more it could possibly throw at me right now because this is getting kind of obnoxious. Yeah, I, I just. Yeah. I like to make these challenges as authentic as possible. This is not. This is not good game design. This is torture on real hardware? Yeah, I could imagine. If this was literally separated into two levels, that would be literally a okay with me, but that is. Obviously not the not the case. I don't. Should I be? Oh god, do I want to be an asshole and say that thing? Do I want to? Yeah, fuck it. You know what game is on like this? I can kind of understand why G artists would go out of business and rebrand itself. Jesus Christ. Can you just let me end this level? I I, I beg of you, just just to, just stop. Like this is this is just this is dumb. And we're being flanked. All of this in one level. Reminder, this same level has been going on for a while now. Oh wait, I think this is the end. Yep, this is the end of the level. I'm pretty sure. Remember, you break that down. I'm pretty sure reality is almost. Oh, cool. Never mind. <laughs> Took a while to find a Jameson type, but okay. If you could, if you could get Tachikoma to pick up health healing, health healing. You know what? Actually, that works. If if you could get him to pick up healing packs, that would severe. That would actually fix this whole issue, but. Since that is obviously not the case, uh, that is not great. <laughs> just literally just insert filthy Frank green screen. It's time to stop. Where am I going? Oh, wait, no, 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 this corner, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, this is it. This is the last area. Like, you literally come out here. I could turn off Gobbo now because, honestly, this area is pretty simple and you can do it by yourself entirely. Okay, we're out. Yay. And before I do this, and then Tachikoma immediately fucking dies. No, this is the end of the level. I remember this distinctly. Where are you? Who? Who? What? What? What were you shooting at? Okay. You good? Okay, thank God. Lots of timer when we get out of here.
Yeah, you might want to get that uh, quaking penis looked at. Maybe that would be a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna retract my previous statement. Yeah, this is definitely the worst level in the game. Time, 13 minutes. You would not think so. Duh. Let's go upgrade an assault rifle, I guess. Wave motion gun. That definitely sounds pretty spiffy. Now we are on chapter six. This is the last chapter of the game. We are not tackling this today. I'm going to do that next time. 27th Division's Command HQ are rising up in revolt, primarily within Berutaru Bay city limits. However, it looks like the majority of the soldiers aren't sympathetic to the group's ideology, but instead are being controlled by a virus. Ishikawa. Okay. I've got an update for you about that virus. Remember the virus that Tommy had planted in the maid robot? From what I can determine, one that looks exactly like it has been planted in the soldiers of the 27th Division. <laughs> yeah, remember that sex bot that had the virus planted in it? Yeah, that's the same type. But I can make an educated guess. More than likely, the virus got into them via their data link system. We went through the defense ministry channel so we could tranquilize the soldiers. Then we slipped them the vaccine we'd worked up before all this happened. Then the people running wild in Berutaru Bay right now are the real thing. Well, I guess we'll have to pump them full of lead, not vaccine, huh? That's fine. Jesus. But what I'd like to know is how this situation managed to Even in futuristic Japan, there the cops are just as uh, militant as ever. His JSDA watchdog outfit is supposed to provide a check on the military. But they shirked their duties. No, more than that. They kept releasing false information. Of course they wouldn't report a planned rebellion to the top brass. Isn't that right, General Kusumoto? Yeah, we did do that, didn't we? Look at him grin. There's no point in asking him, Major. Let's just check his cyber brain and get this over with. There's no need to go to all that trouble. I have nothing to hide any longer. I'll gladly cooperate and tell you everything. Get one thing straight. Your little rebellion effectively ended the moment we took you, the ringleader, into custody. True enough. However, I expect that at least now our debts will be settled. <laughs> Toga says look at the game. <laughs> you know, I just don't get it. Why do you have to be so hung up on Hirama? Before the far north was handed back, he worked with Russia to buy up all the land that they expected would be developed. Hiruma then split with Russia the land usage fees. Oh, look! Another Ghost of the Shell thing where Japan, a uh, segment of Japan is working with Russia. But the public Just like how Individual Eleven happens. The public security operative who was assigned... Where Gojo was able to uh, buy up uh, some plutonium. ...approached General Michiba as a public security operative. He sympathized with our ideals and became one of us. When he learned through Kanbei that the Seninkai was the target of JSDA watch surveillance, he chose the continued survival of the Seninkai over executing Hiruma as a criminal. To avoid further pursuit by public security, General Michiba allowed himself to be charged so that the head, not the tail, of the organization would be cut off. Seems dumb. Section 9's information was leaked. It wasn't us in the military that Kanbei was keeping under observation. It was Section 9. Apprehend Conway at once. Put all public security affiliated personnel in the far north under house arrest. Chief, he gave us the slip. He somehow dodged the Section 9 surveillance net and escaped. Oops. Contact the support police and have them take Hiroma into protective custody on the double. Roger, we don't have time to think things over. Head for the urban district. Right, so I guess we're uh, still stepping... I guess there's still an assassination... Not only an assassination plot, a full-on fucking coup attempt going on. So, you know, that's uh, fun. Although, frankly, with how, uh, again, like I said before, Japan's kind of run in the future in this timeline, I honestly can't say I blame anyone, really. 24 hours to arrival of Asakikawa 7th Division. 4 hours to arrival of Narashino Airborne Division. Incoming message from the Todoku Support Police requesting immediate assistance. Three think tanks thought to be part of the rebel... I just can't get past how... Kusanagi's tits are like just levitating sometimes in these shots. It's kind of weird. It's no use. All communication systems and the entire chain of command have been disrupted due to the virus inserted into the military's internal data link. The end system inside Veritata Bay city limits has been paralyzed too. Road surveillance is impossible. 
So, oh, oh boy, the virus just happened to not only take over a bunch of soldiers, but also just kind of corrupted all the backlink channels. Yeah, what? Well, no big deal. Just, it does everything. scared and had to visit the little boy's room? Find Hiramar on the double. Is that clear? Oh, you know, just, uh, I think you were, you would have thought that would be your first idea. Major, I got the results back on the component analysis of blood from that girl, Shikari. Like we thought, it's not just android blood that's red. This is real red blood. I also managed to get a DNA comparison. I pulled half a match off a sample that was left by that Kenbishi scientist named Sakata. Are you telling me that that little girl is flesh and blood? I don't know the details, but it's possible that only the part she bled from is flesh and blood. Packing doesn't work on her. Plus, she's got genuine blood to boot. Given those circumstances, who am I to say she's not human? But assuming that's the case, how do you explain her ability to carry around that anti-material rifle and communicate in an ultra-high frequency band that normal humans can't hear? Do you think she could possibly be a biohumanoid? A biohumanoid? Yes. Sakata was involved in the development of the Tachikoma's bio-AI chips. He probably had technology that could have developed a bio-humanoid. Well, after all, Sakata did resign on the day after Michiba was arrested. That's a little too coincidental to buy. Maybe we ought to consider Sakata as a Sininkai number two. So he received funding from the Sininkai and developed his own custom girl. Not a bad use of money. If your theory is true... So this kid's not a cyborg, nor is she actual human. She's like that. Oh, oh, she's probably that weird like type of cyborg. That's that. That's what that one dude from uh, Second Gig was. The white hair dude that was just introduced like the very end with no fanfare. I guess you could probably. I I, I think it was more like uh, Cell from Dragon Ball, where it's like. It seems like there's like no mechanical parts, but like not really flesh and blood either. That said, though, I'm still gonna say it doesn't really explain anything, and like there's no for, there's no real follow-ups on this, and that's just a general like idea, biological machine. Yeah, pr that's pretty much the idea. Like more engineered, like just flesh and blood. I guess that's the best way you could possibly put it right now, just in layman's terms. All right, that's it. I'm just cutting it for today. That's next time we get back to this. Oh boy, we actually are dealing with chapter six. I don't remember the chapter six being that bad. There's a couple of like dicey boss battles. That was not so bad. That one, okay, never mind. That mission was also a little bit of a pain in the dick, so. Maybe we're not out of the woods yet, but we're definitely past like the absolute worst of it, I will definitely say. Alright, night boys. Uh, don't fist the android girl, I guess.